And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... The Earth from Outer Space. Colonel Bleep, <laughs> Squeak, and Scratch are on their way to outer space for a moon's eye view of our planet, Earth. Here, hundreds of miles above the Earth, they see our planet as a huge round ball speeding through space in its endless orbit around the sun. The Earth completes a full circle around the sun every 364 and a quarter days, which is exactly one year by our calendar. And as it moves, it also spins completely around, once every 24 hours, one full day by our clock. This means only half of the Earth faces the brilliance of the sun at a time, that side being a glow with daylight. But as that side turns from the sun, the daylight fades into the darkness we call night. Woo! Woo! Billions of years ago, the Earth was probably blazing hot, like the sun. But through the ages, its surface has gradually cooled to form the rock, soil, and salty oceans we know and live upon today. But if Bleep and his friends were to remove a slice from our Earth, like a piece of melon, inside they would discover a center of fiery, molten rock. Yes, no matter how you look at it, from the ground or from deep in outer space, this Earth of ours is an exciting place for Bleep, Squeak, and Scratch to investigate. But it can be even more exciting close up. So now the spaceman dives earthward for a closer look at one of the cities in which the people of this planet work, live, and play. As Colonel Bleep, Squeak, and Scratch Peeked down through the clouds, they found the city of New Orleans, Louisiana, cradled within the wide-sweeping curves of the mighty Mississippi River. Today, the romantic riverboats of yesteryear have been replaced by modern barges and swift ocean-going freighters, which have made New Orleans the second largest United States port. Colonel Bleep admired the towering buildings in the business district, and Scratch was fascinated by the colorful flags of the International Trademark Building. Meanwhile, Squeak had spotted Canal Street, the widest street in the nation, and it seemed the whole city was aglow with excitement. This was the season of the Mardi Gras, that festive celebration that attracts thousands to New Orleans every spring. Bleep, squeak, and scratch landed atop one of the most beautiful boats in the parade, and the people cheered wildly because Bleep and his friends looked just like three happy paraders, disguised in weird costumes of the past, present, and future. The parade took them through the quaint French Quarter, past colorful gardens, massive grilled gates, ornamental wrought iron balconies, antiquated street lamps, and Basin Street, birthplace of Dixieland jazz. But for Scratch, the best thing of all was sampling the chef's prize Creole cooking in the world-famous New Orleans restaurant. Yes, New Orleans is a picturesque and exciting city for Bleep, Squeak, and Scratch 